Grandpa knows best here. Today I'm going to talk about the differences between men and women. Now I'm talking about the basic, fundamental differences between the sexes. So stay tuned. Thanks for returning. Now I'm talking about the way men and women think. The way they solve problems and face life. Not the physical differences, but the basic differences. I do not mean to disrespect anyone, and without putting anyone down, let me describe it as spaghetti brains and waffle heads. Think of a plate of spaghetti, long noodles intertwined all together, laying across and underneath and running alongside each other all at the same time. You can't see where one ends and the other starts. And thoughts can easily slide from one to the other. This is what goes on in a woman's brain. Men, on the other hand, have little boxes, like a waffle, a separate place for each thought, idea, each problem or solution. It is compartmentalized, so the contents of one box never ever touches what's in another box, thus the name Waffle Head. Now, men have a box for work, one for the car, a box for sports, a box for friends, over here, we'll have a box for projects we want to do and a box for things we need to do and a nothing box, but I'll get to that later. When a man wants to talk about something, he goes to that box, opens that box and discusses only what is in that box. I have noticed when talking to other guys, I open the box and start talking about what's in the box. Let's say the open box is about work, something that happened at work or something I need to do at work, but it's all about work. My friend will open his work box and share things from that box. Something like um, show and tell in kindergarten. Then when we are done, we both close the box. There will be a pause in the conversation and one of us will open another box and start talking about that box. But we only talk about one box before we close it and move on. It's an easy conversation. In a woman's brain, everything is easily connected to everything else. No walls or borders or boundaries. Let me give you an example of this. Let's say a couple sees a dog on the streets. She thinks, oh look, there's a dog. Then because she has spaghetti brains, the thoughts race down and jump from one noodle to another. I bet that dog is lost. That dog is lost and scared. That puppy must be thirsty. Oh no, the puppy's owner is sad. There's a little girl who is worried and missing her puppy. The little girl is looking out the window and crying. I need to pick my daughter up at four today. I wonder what she had for lunch. I hope it's not pizza again. She doesn't like that. I need to take dinner out of the freezer. I have to remember to call my sister up north. Where the man, after seeing the same dog, goes, there's a dog in the street. He puts it in the box, closes the lid, it's done. He doesn't think about it again. Well, but because of this, women are good at multitasking. They can talk on the phone, text their friend, and shop online while thinking what she has to pack for the trip tomorrow. Men, for the most part, do one thing at a time and move on to the next thing. Uh, another Example would be a story. The teacher is late. She comes in and tells a story like, um, this morning we got up late. The coffee maker was unplugged, so I had to plug it in. Then when I left the house, Mrs. Johnson was out watering the lawn. I waved at her. She likes cats. Then I got on the freeway and this truck cut me off. I hate those big trucks. The road was really busy. My mother called and told me my sister's wedding is in June. The car felt a little funny. The steering wheel was wiggly. I heard a bump, bump, bump. I saw that gas station with the clean bathrooms, so I pulled over. I got out of my car and my front tire was flat. Now, as I'm listening to this, I'm saying to myself, please get to the bottom of the box, forgetting that as a spaghetti brain, there is no bottom of the box. A man would have just said, I had a flat on the way to work. Then there's the nothing box. One of our boxes, that one, has nothing in it. And it's one of our favorite boxes. It's completely empty. 
you have seen men in their nothing box as they're flipping through the channel, sitting there, watching TV with a blank look on their face. Or during a long drive, just looking around, and we can be sitting there looking into the, that box with nothing going on in our brain. Now, I know this idea is completely foreign to women. Women can't just pause their brain, but it's true. Now, like every rule, there will be exceptions. But for the most part, I found this to be true. I hope you have enjoyed me sharing my opinion. Please subscribe and click the bell. And thank you for watching.